What's up, YouTube? This is True Raw 4 TV. Well, only he, only he can make everything, and I mean everything, about him. So recently, the NBA world lost the legendary Dikembe Mutombo one of the great defensive players of all times. Four Defensive Player of the Year awards. It's a damn travesty that Rudy Gobert has as many Defensive Player of the Year awards as this guy. But we lost him yesterday due to brain cancer. He announced back in about two years ago, I guess it was, uh, the Kim McCumbo announced that he had been diagnosed with brain cancer and he fought a brave battle. Recently, LeBron James, during uh, press day, because we all know the NBA season is starting uh, starting up again, I think training camp or preseason, we want to call it, uh, starts, I think, this Friday. But anyway, he was asked about the passing of the Kim Matumbo, and this is what he said, right? He said, uh, my finest memory of the Kimmy Mutombo, he fractured my face on my birthday in Cleveland with an elbow. I, you know, I never even got an opportunity to tell him about that. I don't remember how old I was. It was my first stint in Cleveland, yeah, and and, and he was in Houston. Uh, you guys can do the research. Huh? Uh, he was in Houston. I went to the hole and caught one of those that came bare elbows. <laughs> and if anybody knows about those that came bare elbows, they do not feel good. So he fractured my face, and I went to the hospital that night. I wore a mask for a little bit after that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'm being maybe I'm being a little bit picky with this one, but number one, that's a strange thing to bring up on the day of the Kimbe's passing. I just think that was a strange memory. I, I would have thought that he would have said, you know, something. I mean, how could that be your fondest memory of him breaking your face? So you could just talk about yourself. I would have thought it would have been like maybe, you know, his domination in that series against the Sonics in 94. I mean, he would have been old enough to watch that. He'd have been like nine years old. Or maybe his tenure with the Hawks was a little bit older. I would think LeBron would remember that. I'm pretty sure you watch games of him dominating the NBA on defensive end. Um, the sequence when he blocked four shots in a row in one possession. I mean, that's your fondest memory. And he always, whenever you ask this guy a question about someone else, he always finds a way to, to turn the question around to talk about his own, something about him. He turns every question about somebody else into an opportunity to reflect upon him or to bring him into the conversation. Like when he was asked about the 81 point game. Oh, I I had a feeling that was he was gonna do that, man. Yeah, I had a feeling, man. Was, you know, I, I knew he was gonna go off. I, I knew that he was gonna go off for a big night. I just knew it. That's a symptom of narcissistic personality disorder, man. Um you, you cannot empathize with others, and you need constant praise and adulation. And oftentimes, Malignant narcissists, they tend to lie. They have a grandiose sense of self. I mean, you know, calling yourself king and, tell, and saying that your son shouldn't call you pops, but king on the court is, is a, a symptom of that, you know. But, you know, I'm told, I don't know what I'm talking about when I talk about this guy, but uh, I mean, he's always been a little bit self-absorbed when he came to the NBA, but it's gotten really bad, man.
gotten really bad. But anyway, tell me what you guys think.